The Saguaro National Park in southeastern Arizona occupies one of several unique mountain ranges known collectively as the Sky Islands or the Madrian Archipelago. Sky Islands are typically isolated mountain ranges that are separated from each other by lowland deserts. The southeastern Arizona Sky Islands ranges from 3,000 to 10,000 feet in elevation and hosts various ecosystems from arid deserts to temperate forests as elevation increases. The unique geographic and topographic condition of the Sky Islands leads them to act as an isolated evolutionary habitats and biodiversity hotspots. Our team focused on Rincon Mountains located on the east side of Tucson City for the current term. The Southeastern Arizona Water Resource Team collaborated with partners from the National Park Service Intermountain Region and the National Park Service at the Saguaro National Park to address the community concern of the potential impact of snow cover loss on water resources in the Sky Island region. My name is Don Swan and I'm a biologist at Saguaro National Park. Um, a lot of people don't realize, but we do have water in Saguaro National Park, even though we are a desert park. And th that water is in streams and springs, and it's very important for our wildlife and for our campers and hikers in the backcountry. Over the last few decades, we feel that we're seeing a change in the, the amount of snow that we have in the mountains and how long it lasts into the spring. And we think that's having an effect on, on, the, on the springs and the streams. And so we don't have much information on it, and we really have been trying to get more um, in order to help us better manage those resources. The study period for this project ranged from 1985 to 2016. Moody standard snow cover products, including the normalized different snow index, were obtained for 2002 through 2016. Additionally, Landsat 5, Landsat 7, and Landsat 8 were obtained from 1985 to 2016 from November to March for all dates containing less than 30% cloud cover. The goal of the fall 2016 term is to create an assessment of snow cover distribution in the Rincon Mountain using NASA Earth Observation data products. Additionally, the team worked to finalize a methodology so future work will expand to all of the Sky Islands. Notice and Landsat data were used to calculate the Normalized Difference Snow Index, or NDSI. The NDSI uses reflectance off of the Earth's surface and the green and shortwave infrared spectral ranges in order to identify areas which are likely to be snow. In order to better understand the role that snow cover plays in the streams and watersheds of the region, we calculated the snow cover area within individual watersheds. This analysis provided a preliminary view of the historical snow cover area. This data was then compared to the stream discharge data as a method for identifying trends and relationships between snow presence and streams in our study area. Continuation of the project through the 2017 spring term will involve more in-depth analysis of the acquired data as well as expansion of the study area to include additional sky islands. The objective of future work will be to provide the MPS with a comprehensive record of snow cover change by watershed within Saguaro National Park and synoptically across the region. With this data, the National Park Service will be able to establish well-informed water resource management strategies that can be adapted to the changing climate of the southeastern Arizona Sky Islands region.